It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. This is kind of tasty. What yeah, um? Yes. What, what, what did this come in? Is this the only flavor? Uh, brut Rosé. This is Brut, and there's a Brut Rosé. There's only two. For oh, now. What makes something Brut? I've seen that written on a... Ooh, that's a cologne. Brut. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a fan of that's old. That's what I'm telling my age. <laughs> Brood meat just means the um, it's a it's a type of MCC. Uh-huh. That's what it means. It just means it's uh, you know made like any other. We can't call it champagne, Charlemagne. Let because me. it's not from champagne. It has to be from, from the, the region of yeah, champagne yeah, 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 in France right, to be right. called champagne. Got you. Tequila so, too, apparently, has yeah, to be from uh, Jalisco, Mexico. And yeah. cognac has to be from cognac mm-hmm. in France. Ah. Yes. Fuck the French. <laughs> the stupid rules with that shit. I know. It's that's a, a grape. Get over it. Get you over it. I mean, grape, add some bubbles. You know, it's the same process, but we have to call it MCC, which means Method Cup Classique. But it's just made in the same way, double fermentation. How long did it take you to learn all this shit, Bona? Three and a half years. Wow. Yeah, but we only launched this in March 18th, 2019. Oh, so but it had... took us about four years to kind of get it to where we are drinking it in New York right now. So you had to go through a whole process. Of like course. You had to go through... Really? Of course. What was it? Give, give us the background on I that. I mean, you need to... I, I mean, I'm new in the wine industry. You know, I had to kind of figure out what wine is, learn a lot about wine, learn about the brand, learn about um, um, the different kinds of brands there are different grapes you know different fermentation methods um i had to get a, a wine master you know mm-hmm. and we put it together and the rest is history i, I guess. hate champagne this is actually tasty thank you I, really, I, I don't drink why don't all. you like you I don't, don't drink I'm alcohol not a yeah. at all. i'm gonna i'm gonna make a flame. non-alcoholic flame malibu rum for my birthday last year i and bet I you guys will fight too no, I did not. I get made love to. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to make a non-alcoholic version. I'll send you one. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. No, but this is actually tasty. Thank you very and much. And it's smooth. It's not like, mm. it's it's like, oh, okay. Easy drink drinking. Yeah, the Bonang. Eve, I'm going to make sure. I, I have a question. Bonang. Thank you. Uh, Bonang. Sorry. How old Let's are you? Let's call it B. Can, can 32? I ask you? B? Okay, B. 32. So. I used to be 32. It's <laughs> a great age. It's a great age. Very great age. How were you when you were 32? Your body was so banging. Oh, you're was, still banging. Oh, no, 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 no. I used to be a damn piece. I'm full on Harriet Tubman right now. <laughs> What's wrong with Harriet? Now, listen, I don't like that. Harriet was stressed out, Flame. Harriet was stressed okay. out because if Harriet was stressed out, she wouldn't have kept going back. Harriet was gangster, is what she was. <laughs> Harriet didn't have time. Harriet was gangster and determined. That's what she was. And she definitely was stressed out because one. I'm the bitch that would have got away and be like, they on their own. I refuse to believe Harriet was out of shape. I refuse to believe she that. Be. She was running the exactly. whole Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that, I don't like the way they be depicting Harriet in the movie. There's no way, man. Harriet had to be like a track body. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't think Harriet looked like no woman either. I think Harriet was fooling people. She might, she might have been the first original F to M. They might have thought Harriet was a little nigga. All right. Okay, Bonang. It worked. All right. It worked. Well, okay, so let's revisit that Harriet thing before we go on. You know we had to give credit to white people because black folks didn't own nothing then for real. White folks helped us. White folks helped. I thought like, you was going to freak it with the Harriet Tubman. No, 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 no. I love, I love the story of Harriet Tubman. I, I just saw oh, the movie. The, movie, the <laughs> movie was not about slavery. The movie was about sheer determination and will. It really was. Mm-hmm. And uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway did kill it. One second. Get your balls right, okay? Make sure your balls are shaped up beautifully. Look at this Manscaped razor right here. This is for one thing. It's not to trim your mustache. It's not to trim your beard. It's to put this thing on right here, clip that up, and then boom. You're going to get your sack and you're going to get your bush looking beautiful, mm. all right? That's what we want to do. You can't be out here bushy. clean balls, King. Bro, you got to have the clean balls. You had Look at this right here. Manscaped. I look like a... Dude, of course, look at that. That's if you want to have like that little Scotty Pippen. So do I got to put the cream? The cream comes after. They got the ball deodorant because you know your shit is woofing, especially you go down south. Bro, I'm trying this. And the reason I'm trying this, and I, I've been telling y'all for the longest, I really don't want no hair on my balls. I don't want no hair on my pubes. I really don't. We got to get rid of it. I d- you don't I, want I, any. I envy women with the ball vaginas, yo. I don't want nothing. I think we got to start doing this. This is nonstop. Maybe yeah. we even look into a laser situation. Manscaped. Listen, you can't hurt yourself because they got this clip on. It's guaranteed. Anyway, yeah. manscaped.com. Use our promo code. Make sure you go get it. Peace. But white folks had to help us. They had to help us. They owned boats and houses to hire mm-hmm. us to move. So I, I would like for some, somebody to show that angle of it. 
Well, that's always the the misconception that, yeah. that, that white ally is white allies are yeah. new. It's no. still white. But I, but, that's still white folk right there. But it's different between, it's between white allies and white saviors. A lot of times, what Hollywood likes to do is they like to present white saviors as instead of white allies. Fuck Hollywood. Like, stop getting your history from Hollywood. I that's think that's fact. the biggest problem. That's it's like, fact. you want to really know what happened. Don't be so lazy that you're condensing your whole history into like a two hour depiction of, of, of this movie. Like, read a fucking book or just Google some that's shit. It's fact. not Good that hard. That. It? it works sometimes. It works when it's done right, though. It, Cause yo, cause the, what it does is it like taps into an emotion, right? They like, they really find a way to manipulate us and like, and they do that savior thing. And then, you know, white people will go watch the movie and we'll be like, man, it was really amazing mm. what happened in Friday Night Lights or what amazing yeah, happened yeah, yeah. in these situations for sure. But reality is like, you don't need to get your information from there. It's not their responsibility. I hate it's to not say Hollywood's it. no, responsibility. No. Andrew, like, you're absolutely right. But I hate to say it. That is how majority of people learn. Mm. They learn, they learn through arts and entertainment, especially in America. Is that, is that the case in South mm. Africa? Like, so when, Here's a great question. When you're teaching the history of South Africa, like when you're growing up and learning history in school, mm. how much of it is the fucked up history of South Africa? Or is there like a real effort to go, hey, this part happened, but look at all the amazing strides that we've made since then? I think everybody knows the history of South Africa. Well, it's taught in school, in yeah. history, you know, um, in primary school and high school. We know pre-1994, we know Nelson Mandela, we know what happened during apartheid, what happened after apartheid. So we know all about it. I mean, we know how South Africa is what it is today. So do they teach black history in, in schools here? Not in they teach. I'm stuck on the fact that I've been pronouncing apartheid wrong this whole so time. Me too. You, you, landed, that. you made that shit sound like apartheid. a dish. <laughs> like <something. laughs> like that shit sounded tasty. <laughs> apartheid. <laughs> Would you like some apartheid? <laughs> that shit sounded delicious. No. I would take some of that apartheid. You can't say that, do it. Nah, yo. Wow. <laughs> it's a birthday. What is it? Apartheid. Oh my apartheid. god. That comes apartheid. after dinner. <laughs> How do you function? <laughs> it's a I'm going to hit the yeah. baby. I'm going to hit the baby. They didn't have all this stuff. So <laughs> it's too much for me. <laughs> but they, so, so you go and say. No, but they answer your question. They teach. They teach, it's limited black history. Okay, all right. Like, well, we're not learning about, like, the. Uh, we're not really learning about apartheid. In, in America, we definitely learned it, like... I'm saying black American history. We know that black people invented peanut butter. That's about it. Okay. That yeah. is okay. not true. You well, okay, well, in all schools... Black, on Black History Month. It's sort of like, a, you we know, We do pay attention. We learned about... <laughs> right. it's like, George Washington invented peanut butter. Like, George Washington. <laughs> George Washington. They, they Carver. say Carver Lowe. He's like, George Washington. Carver. George yeah. Washington Carver. <laughs> Yo, that's like, George Washington guy. George Washington did everything. He was the first president. He chopped down a cherry tree. He made peanut butter. <laughs> That's what they Yo, do the for cherries real. with a jelly. He needs some to go with it, man. Whoa. Oh my. Hey, bro. <laughs> That's how the sandwiches get made, dude. That's George Washington. But they teach us limited things. Like they might teach us about okay. Martin, they teach us about Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. Yes. You're not gonna learn about Malcolm X. Depending where you are, yes. you'll learn about Frederick Douglass. For whatever reason, okay. DC teaches about Frederick Douglass a lot. Yes. Okay. Um I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, so I learned about Denmark VC growing okay. up because his his house was actually downtown Charleston. So I just think it's a matter of location, but overall, I'm no. I'm asking, do they teach you about, you know, black African? No. No. Okay. No Absolutely way. Oh, none. All right. No. Yeah. Like Nelson Mandela. No. And... We learned about Nelson Mandela through movies. Okay. I yeah. think that's what you mean. Like, why is it... I mean, what, what other, what other the choice story, do people have? Yeah, the story is so fascinating, Yeah, right? So we'll learn about it. But it's very rare that... Well, Taylor's saying you got to go to college. I didn't go to college. And in college, you can learn oh, African history. Okay. There's like yeah, African. but you have to choose to learn it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not compulsory. But we okay. kind of... It's, it's, it's an odd thing because I didn't realize it until when I was living in Spain and my roommate was from Cameroon. And I didn't realize that I looked at Africa at 21 years old mm -hmm. as a country instead of... 100 countries yeah right so That's, like in yeah. that moment I, he was like yeah you have to realize and each country is full of different tribes because yeah. we didn't even carve up the map white yes. people did yes. so each country has its own people and its own president and its own systems no, and no, its no, own no. culture but and even its own... within the country there's multiple cultures yes. and they are tribal let me tell you something yeah, yeah. for instance i'm Tswana from the Tswana culture Tswana. right yeah. Tswana Kimu Tswana from Bapong, which means Amurulong. And under the under the Tswana culture, we have kings. So there's ba Bafukeng tribe, Barolong tribe, Batsipin tribe, and, and each of those tribes has a chief. So let's talk about Bafukeng, right? Their chief is chief. They live in Pukeng, right? And they own all the platinum mines. In Bapong, Murulong, they live in Bapong. We have our own chief. And then the Zulu people, also huh. now the Zulus, Zulu culture, Shaka Zulu was a Zulu king. Yeah. And each, so each, First I mean, person to do whiteface. 
Okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>